Hello, in this short video, I would like to briefly demonstrate how to use the integrated video and audio equipment in Lecture Hall 5 in Building 16 of the Otto von Guericke University of Magdeburg for lecture recordings or for hybrid teaching formats. For this, I have, of course, brought my laptop and at the moment I'm looking into the internal camera and I'm also using the internal microphone. And I will switch over to the rear camera for a second so that you can see the lecture hall. And now we will be using the camera that is there in the center, the PTZ camera, a pen tilt zoom camera. And this one is called in zoom or web presenter HD. So I will switch over to this camera. And now I will also switch over to the corresponding microphone, which is also called Microphone Web Presenter HD, which is the standard microphone here that is also audible in the lecture hall. And this is the standard preset view of the camera, a kind of a full view of the lecture hall. And now there's a remote control. With this remote control, you can zoom in fast and you can also zoom in and out slow. And there are also some presets you always need to point the remote control towards the camera. The first preset is a focus on the lecturer. Here you can nicely see this remote control. Here are these zoom buttons and here are these presets. There's a second preset that is kind of a semi-total view of the stage here. And there's a third preset, which is a focus or zoom onto the blackboard. And with this, of course, you could now do classical blackboard lecture, writing something here like hello world. And um, I think the quality is very good. So everything should be nicely readable there. Of course, you can also share your screen. I will share my screen for a second and show the website of the university as an example. And this is of course also visible in the room. It's visible for remote attendees and they should also still see my camera window just a little smaller. So I will stop sharing the screen once again. If you have a writing tablet or drawing pen for your laptop, um, then of course you can also directly write something, show it in the room here um, and make it visible for the Zoomies, for the remote attendees, write with electronic ink if you hate cleaning the blackboard and the chalk as much as I do. Okay, so with this, you can uh, feed audio and video and blackboard and your screen to the Zoomies, of course, if they want to show something, if you want to see their camera tiles, you can also uh, make them visible here on the projector. If remote attendees have questions and ask something in Zoom, it's also no problem because you will hear them via the speakers um, integrated here in the lecture hall, like, like you would hear the, the microphone. So everything is visible and audible um, just for me. So this is the microphone that I'm using at the moment. I've brought this, uh, a second microphone, the one that I'm typically using, a Hollyland Lark 150. I will switch over to this. So now I'm speaking into this microphone. I don't know. I don't know. It, it should sound maybe a little different, a little, a little better, a little worse. I don't know. Just, just for comparison, it's just interesting for me. And with this, I will also switch back to the original lecture hall microphone. Yeah. So in summary, I think it's a very nice and very easy to use setup. The only thing that you have to connect to your laptop computer is some HDMI cable. And via this HDMI cable, um, the screen and the audio will go out of your computer to the projector, uh, to the projection screen and to the speakers in the room. And the second cable that you have to connect is a USB cable. And via this USB cable, you get the signal from this camera and from this microphone into your computer and into the Zoom video conference. So overall, I think it's a very nice and very easy to use setup in this lecture hall for lecture recordings or for hybrid teaching forms.